Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, play me? Never. Man, you choke on niggas so good, how y'all gonna say he better? Man, you choke with niggas so good, how y'all gonna say he pressure? Man, you choke with niggas so good, you starting to make me jealous. Oh! It's pathetic. Mr. Lonely, I have no. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. The dash got in a crash real bad. My rod folded up. My spine broken up. Hips and my thigh broken up. I flew out the whip, almost died, but that was God showing up. Yeah. Yeah. More than what he did for you, that was a real eye opener. Oh. Oh. Motherfucker, stop playing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What? Now loaded up. That was crazy. Nah, nah. That was crazy. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The clip of blowing, talking fast, you're listening slow. Follow me on IG, Vado underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Midnight Madness. Midnight Madness. New Jersey twerk versus Snake Eyes. I got so many different opinions about the battle. I mean, I got some bars. I got a winner. Things like that. Salute to my guy. Showtime SP, he's working, we're working, and um, yeah, so battle goes down, uh, from what I heard, it was at 4 o'clock in the morning, that's nasty work, but uh, you know, New Jersey twerk got there, Snake Eyes got there, and it was a lot of energy between these two, uh, as we know, as we know, twerk was on like his 31st, third strike, he was on the, he was in the doghouse, you know what I'm saying, Smack had came out recently, made some statements, et cetera, et cetera, and now he's battling against a Snake Eyes who, you know, Snake Eyes has fans, he does he does his thing. You got it's, it's an acquired taste. Some people rock with it, some people will be like, oh, you know, the street, whatever. So he's been getting busy doing his thing his own way. Not really much on URL, but he's been on RBE, uh, King of the Died. He's been running around doing his own circuits and then he wins the belt in Midnight Madness. Battling against New Jersey Twerk, going into it, a lot of people felt like even though New Jersey Twerk had been on a downslide, that he would get the best of Snake Eyes. What I will say is even after the battle, people made it look like, oh, Snake Eyes got body bagged, he was destroyed. And when I checked the footage, I watched it once, it was a little bit closer, I ain't gonna hold you. Um, first round, Snake Eyes comes out, and he's in a little bag. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, Snake Eyes, when I first seen him, it was Snake Eyes versus Ryder. And he got busy in the Ryder battle. I had felt like Ryder won, but Snake Eyes had some bars. When it get him day, I switch hands and bang with the left like Starks did MJ. And he had some other punches in there too. That was the battle with the core craft soap, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, Snake Eyes says in the first round, fake bozo. He says, uh, you the type to do real promo, type of nigga, fly to the city, pull up to the venue, and then no show. That is nasty work. He said, you you know, he said, the, the coaches, you a real bozo. You the type to do real promo, fly to the event, show up to the venue, and then no show. I like that. Uh, he said, how does it feel to be the first rapper to get 30 by Smack White publicly? That was nasty. He was getting a lot of reaction, too. Like, he was in a bag early in the battle. Uh... He says, Smack took it away, now I gotta give it, now I gotta give him the shine. Uh, he says, stumbles on live with a brother that chokes. And then, you know, he had the, the bar that a lot of people are talking about. Uh, he said, you, you choke so much, how was he pressure? He choked so much, how was he stretch? You choke Nick so good. Then J2 jumps in and says, you starting to make me pause. That, who thought of it? Did he come up with the bar himself? Who thought of it? Who, who drafted it? Who, who created it? What state of mind would, you know what? I'ma just keep it moving. So, Snake Eyes had a fire first round. I'm just gonna leave it there. Like his first round to me was probably his best round of the whole battle. Twerk comes out his first round. Uh, I got bigger fish to fry and so does she. I thought that was fire. Uh, Papa Shell, Taco Bell, they got wings now. Gwitty, they got wings now. Oh my goodness. With Gwitty's ad libs. 
are good for battle rap. They got wings now. Uh, he said, poke a extra, poke a hole in the belt, make it my size. Thought that was fire. Uh, Chris gonna die in the first five minutes. It stomped the yard. Then twerk gets into a bunch of his bars. My ride folded up, hips and thighs broken up. More than he did for you. That was a real eye opener. Liked it. Uh, I upped the 380 quicker than Credit Karma. Credit Karma for those 380. If your credit score is 380, you got a lot of problems. You shouldn't even be watching this. You should be thinking about how you're gonna get up the 380. Credit Karma liked it. Um, die with the white girl in his hand like King Kong. I liked it. Uh, don't give a fuck about your one good eye as long as your stove got four good ones. Yeah, he was he was definitely bombing. He was getting a lot of reaction too, but it is what it is. Uh, you can't I can't expect indoor. It's outside, you know what I'm saying? It's a grimy, it's, it's a dope setting though. Anderson Burris did amazing with the camera work. It's outside, you know, it's later at night, you know, the, the reactions are there, and it, it was what it was. Um trying to get the belt wrapped my wrap around my head like Quail Man, talking about him getting beat up for the belt. He said, I'd have grabbed Tony and popped your uncle and popped your bro like your uncle, nigga. I liked it. First round was dope. I liked it. Um, after the first round, I kind of edged the first round of Snake Eyes. I'm going to just be honest with you, man. I like his pockets of flows. I like the shit that he was doing. I like the fucking, um, the, the, the shit where he said the, the real promo type of nigga to fly to your city and pull up and then no show. Uh, he said, how you the first nigga to get 30 by Smack White Public? I don't know, it was just me. I just liked what he had. Uh, second round, Snake Eye comes out with the Eating the Eye Shrek intro. Scott Hall, they're gonna have to bring the razor back. Then he had to read about your wife getting shot at a bowling alley. I like that. Second round had a lot of dope material. I love the first round, second material. He continues to uh, pick up. At the, I don't know, am I bugging? Was the, did he get out of his, I don't, I don't think he got out of his second round. Or, I don't know, it was a weird end to a second round. It's just me. Um, twerk. He says, I'm going to pull, I'm going to put an end to all of this madness like a dream catcher fire. You suspect and blonde on one side, Dennis Rodman. You suspect and blind. Like He said blonde, but blind. You suspect and blind on one side like Dennis Rodman. I liked it. Uh, I would have schooled LeBron, I promise. 20 in Calvin, 60 in Klein. It's leg day. I had to use my razor for an apple. Like, this nigga is bugging in his second round. Not gonna lie. Um, third round, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had, I ain't gonna lie, I had to battle 1-1 one, one going into the third. Third round, Snake Eyes has a cool round. His round, he has some material in it. He has some haymakers, I'm not even gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got shit to do. I ain't sitting here, I ain't right line for line for line for line. But I liked his third round. Twerk's third round, to me, was his best round of the night. He put the, brings the belt out. He starts going into all of these pockets of flows. He starts talking about uh, they was uh, he what he say? He said some shit like uh, they was playing soccer with Tony like frosted flakes. I, what he said if, if I was your manager, I wouldn't even talk to Snake. You had them playing soccer with Tony like nigga was bugging the fuck out in the third round. But uh, there's gonna be people who feel like this battle was closer than a lot said. Like coming out, niggas was saying thirty. He got body. Whoop -de -whoop. Hey, if that's how you call it, that's how you call it. You know what I'm saying? There may be some people who feel like Snake Eyes won. There may be some people who feel like Turk got 3-0. Um, oh, and then he had that shit where, oh, that was fire. He did the fake, uh, the fake choke shit. Uh, he was like, they had to book you who first. They had to book you first. They had to book you through Sue Surf. He was like, uh, yeah, that wasn't a choke. That was a stumble. And we seen how you handle that. Like, that shit was... That was impressive. Um, but Twerk's got a lot of work to do. Even in this battle, to me, he won. The judges gave him the win. Uh, he still got work to do, even if it's going to be on URL. I don't know if he's going to take another Midnight Madness battle or whatever the case may be. Snake Eyes just battled Cortez this weekend. I didn't see it. Uh, it was on HOC. So I guess this is a league up in Albany. But I ain't, I, I ain't going to hold you. When I seen the pocket check, niggas getting their pockets ripped off and it was just, it's too much for me. I'm I'm sorry. I I I'm spoiled. I'm watching caffeine for free. Other leagues who do have pay-per-views usually slide us over the pay-per-view to watch. I'm not paying for no pay-per-view in 2022. It's just so, like I am not personally paying for a pay-per-view in 2022. When caffeine is free, 
I see you RBE's pay per views, and that's about it. I'm, I'm not, especially if it's the first time I'm watching the league. I'm not gonna first time watch a league by paying forty or fifty dollars. That's just me. Like I said, to each their own. No knock on no league, no knock on no battles. It's just the way my kids are set up, I am not spending $40, $50 to watch no battle rap. I'm sorry. So, um, Snake Eyes didn't, didn't lose anything in this battle, I would say. He did his thing. He definitely did his thing. He opened up some eyes, and he definitely had some moments. That young thug ball was crazy. Uh, the fucking, uh, in his first round, like I told you, that shit we was talking about, you type to pull up to an event. Then no show. I was 30 by smacking. Real like this nigga was in the bag. I'm not gonna hold you. Like he definitely has some skills. And shout out to Sue Surf and Midnight Madness, Jack Boy Main, Bill Collecting, all of them for even making this happen. You know what I'm saying? Giving MCs a way to, you know, get out there, get themselves seen, and to be battling for belts and competition and things like that. A lot of people not really putting up their belts. I be hearing so much hoopla and people getting mad about the belt. I don't know who won what. I don't even know who's holding them motherfuckers no more. I ain't gonna hold you, so I don't know. Don't ask me, because I don't know who's doing what, who got what belt, who. I don't even know the names of them shits. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know nothing. But what I will say is uh, that was a good a good battle. KD versus Wise was a good battle. That was a really good battle. I haven't had time to like sit down and break down line for line for line for line, bar for bar for bar for bar, but I will say that they Definitely got it in. Um, Snake Eyes could continue to get booked, whether it be on Rare Breed. Maybe he'll be back on URL. I don't know. Maybe he'll be back on URL. I was watching um, Clone versus Henny Man earlier. Yo, Clone? I don't really watch the app that much because a lot of shit that drop on the app is trash. A lot of new battles is whack. I ain't gonna hold you. Them shits is not good. But the Clone versus Clone went fucking noodles. I, I know I'm on another subject by now, but go watch Clone versus Henny. <laughs> Man, that nigga went crazy. But um, I will say this, man. Um, salute to Snake Eyes. Salute to uh, New Jersey Twerk. You know what I'm saying? They both got it in. There was a lot of energy around this battle. And Twerk had a lot of riding on him. And he still was not a thousand percent clean, but he did his thing. I'm not going to lie. He looked a little, he looked a little, uh, a little disheveled when J2 came through with that ball. I would have looked the same. I'm not even going to hold you. But what I will say is, you know, when somebody does show up, you're supposed to. You're supposed to show up. You're supposed to bring three rounds. You know what I'm saying? I know we've had our ups and downs. At one time, at one time, this nigga blocked me. But now, you know, we're unblocked. We follow each other again on Twitter and Instagram. I have a love-hate relationship with this nigga. But the reason why is because in order to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. I've said, yo, what are you doing? Who do you and you know what? I've seen so many battle rappers. My niggas, they don't get mad at gun bars. They don't get mad at a nigga saying, you know, I, I fucked your mom and grandmother on the same. They don't get mad at none of that. But let you turn on the camera and make a blog? Oh, niggas, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. I, I heard my name in his battles with all type of shit. But it's a new year, new money. And I hope he do good because twerk for the algorithm of battle rap. When you do good, it is good for everybody. It's good for the blogs, it's good for the media, it's good for your battles, it's good for everything when you do good. So trust me, niggas ain't sitting around just praying on your downfall. But it's preparation. You have to show up prepared. That's the one thing. You have to show up and rap for nine minutes. Probably ten with some react. You get mad fucking reactions. So it's like 10, 15 minutes, three minute rounds of shit. Really, you should be showing up every time. Showing up, bringing your A game, and smoking these niggas. Because that is, he's very hard to beat. But his biggest competition is himself. He beats himself. He's, he, he's real name Brandon. Beat himself. And I can go through all these other battles. He beat himself. Swan beat himself. You know what I mean? Like, the surf beat himself. And then we can just keep on going. But when he brings three rounds, and I hate to use that notion, Winnie, 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 when he's a grown man, he's going to do it. But uh, I did like this one right here. I'm not going to lie. It had some replay value. And he had some definitely good pocket punches in there. He had some strong lines in there. Uh, the, the fish fry, the fish, she got bigger fish to fry, so does she. Oh, you know, that shit goes. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. I watch this motherfucking content religiously or in passing. NBA playoffs resumes tonight. I'll be watching that. And you know, it is what it is. Gang, gang. I'm strapped.